I get emails from my students after a session. Can I speak with you? And so that's the first opening, where there's an, an, an opening, not only interior, an, in, an interior awareness that I'm aware now that I haven't been aware, but I want to do something to explore that, or I don't understand what this is, help me. The first step is reaching out to someone and say, I want to talk. Which is another way of saying if he were a Roman Catholic, he might ask to go to confession. Because that's, for, for a Catholic, a lingo like, I'd like to talk. And it's a safe, traditional way to ask a clergy to do that. But that means that there has to be a dis disposition of, on those with whom they speak of what, whole, what Pope Francis talks about, accompaniment. Accompaniment. Kind of like in the Buddhist tradition where if a student of, a student of Buddhism or even in Hinduism as well, but certainly in, in Zen Buddhism, where they, they want to give themselves over to a teacher, a guru, and you surrender everything to that teacher. Uh, so that's the first step. I want to talk. And then on the part of the listener, namely me in this case, the first thing would be to tether my own desire to um, want to make it all good right away. Because this is a long journey, especially for a 19-year-old. I, 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 what, I what I do with these students that come to me and say, even in the classroom, huh? mm -hmm. but certainly the ones that see me later, because I'm, I'm mentoring, it's, it's, it's an accompaniment process. And I'm mentoring several different young people. But in the classroom, it's a form of mentoring. What I want them to do is explore what happened to them when they became aware that they were not being quite aware? So for me, it's not translating the mythic language of the past, the ancient images, but more talking about the experiences that they're having so as to um, accelerate another shift of consciousness by giving them maps. So, so, for instance, in the death class, we take a look at consciousness. Because one of the questions in the death experience is, what is consciousness? And does consciousness survive after the biological death? And so what we do is we explore ways in which psychology and psychological studies, for instance, are teaching us about the human capacity to become conscious. So we talk about consciousness. And I do exercises having them experience. I said, now come on, I want you to become consciously conscious. What are you becoming conscious of as you become conscious of your consciousness? So we do those exercises in class.